um, kids are at. So it is about when you are actually going to buy a home or sell a home. It's also the feng shui of what you've got to worry about. So I'm doing it in two parts. And the first part is what you can see. And it's kind of like the steps that evaluate the feng shui of a building in that way. So you would de we determine the front and the back. And so we as real consultants can turn a non-prosperous home or office into a prosperous home and office. In feng shui, feng shui basically affects all the occupants or all the employees in the home. So in a good way, a bad way, depending on the energy that you are sitting in, the energy you are sleeping in, etc. But before we get to that, which is what we call what you can't see energy, we're going to focus on what you can see in this. So there's a formula for this and what you can do from what you can see, as in, in the environment. It's called form school and it's where your mountains are, where the back of the house is, where the front of the house is, the open space, we call it the rivers. So the back should be solid, the front should be open, and without having environment school or form school, you actually cannot do the, the flying star or the compass school is actually useless in that way. The back of your home for support relates to your human fortune and uh, more, it's more important to have support at the back than to have an open space at the front of your home. And this is what you can see. You know, what can you see? Do you have... Your home is unprotected at the back or do you have what most of us have here in Aussies? We have six foot fences uh, with land, open land. Most of the time we have mature trees.